This is Johan Gamble. We're back playing Valkyrie Chronicles. Last time we saved uh, the Princess of Gallia or Queen Fishtail, as I like Queen Whale Fishtail, Hail, Unicorn Head Lady, as I prefer to call her. It's kind of a long name, but you'll get used to it after a while. Um, so yeah, we just saved her from a and really so easy Princess fight. Princess Cordelia returned safe through the efforts of Militia Squad Seven. Its leader, Welkin Gunther was celebrated as rescuer to the nation's sovereign and awarded the prestigious Gallian Medal of Honor. Lieutenant Welkin Gantha, step forward. Hey, look, it's Borg. Sir, for excellence in valor and deed, you are hereby awarded this honor. Your Highness, please, bestow the medal upon the young lieutenant. Gladly. Congratulations, Lieutenant Gunther. Thank you, Your Highness. Though I have yet to reach an answer, your question drives me still. To understand my responsibility as sovereign and as a single human life. Your Highness. Oh, and know that one tradition already lies sundered by my will. I had the cooks add cinnamon rolls to my daily breakfast. Alicia will be happy to hear it. Lieutenant Gunther, you forget yourself. Uh, Borg, you need to shut up with your girly locks. Sir, my apologies. Obviously, she was talking to Welkin, and not you. With this, today's ceremonies are ended. Highness, would you grace us with a word? Please let it be your fired Borg. Lieutenant Gunther, I hope your allegiance to Galia stands firm evermore. Yes, Princess. Lieutenant Gunther, I am sorry. There is something more I have not told you. Please, be safe. No, that's not what I wanted to hear, Princess. I wanted to hear you fire Borg. All right, let's go. The fears of patriots, and then we'll be on chapter ten. We're more than halfway done with this game. It's crazy. I seem to have I seem to have that ability with RPGs. I seem to make them go a lot faster. I know 91 parts is not considered fast, but trust Welcome. me, Dino Blade I'm Chronicles is a long game, and I sure, made that go by open. pretty fast. I mean, I did do a lot of missions, so that's... Ooh, is that it? Not bad, man. You sure made a name for yourself this time. That is a pretty medal I it wanted. It was pure luck I was there. You could have been there, Faldio, if you didn't decide to so run away. the headlines? The ones that say nothing about the kidnapping? That reporter tells me Borg's the one pressuring the media into suppressing it. Borg! But why suppress it? I cannot not say that when I, if word got when out I hear that name. Happened, it is so Borg. Dolly's relationship with the Federation would suffer. We've got our hands full fending off the Empire. We can't afford a war on two fronts. So he has the whole thing covered up. I'll bet he goes on acting like it never happened. Wow. But it did, and we knew, so aha. Welkin, this hurts. It's painfully obvious how shaky Gallia's standing is. I know the world's history is an endless chain of big fish eating little fish. Both of us know the weak bow to the strong. It's history and it's nature. A minor nation like ours is an easy mark, even before you add the rift within our army. Welkin, no offense, but I hope nature's wrong this time. I don't know what to tell you, Faldio. Nature is never wrong! Alright. Anyways, chapter 10. Chapter 10. Liberation of Thousand. Alright, this one actually has two fights in it. Oh, now we have a decorations. Um, when we meet certain thing, when we do certain things, we can go to Princess Cordelia. And we can get a medal. So we can go do that right now. Uh, you don't only just get medals, though. You can also get, like, weapons from her. She'll give you weapons. Um, they're not too bad weapons, from what I remember. Audience all. 
Actually, what we should do, though, is see if there's any upgrades, and I'll show you all the new upgrades we can probably get, as well as any new uh, characters. I switched out one of our um, how have you been, your um, one of our engineers for this guy named Homer. Very well, Lieutenant Gunther, and all the better for seeing you again. I thank you again for the valor you showed in assisting me that night. Not at all. I was just relieved to see you were unharmed, Highness. It wasn't until I saw my friends gawk at that medal that I realized how special it was. <laughs> you truly are a rare individual. I'm a unique snowflake. It is the duty of a nation to acknowledge and reward the loyal deeds of its people. Medals and trinkets are the only form we have, but we ask that you wear them proudly. Yes, ma'am. And thank you, Your Highness. So, putting them on my boxers would be disgraceful. Do not end with that knight's bravery, either. The stories of your accomplishments suggest I owe you a great deal more than that. Lieutenant Welkin Gunther, step forward. In honor of your manifold accomplishments, you are hereby awarded this honor. Highness, it's an honor. Ooh, medal. I do like the way the medals look in this game. They're very nice. The Lance of Gallia. Ooh. That's pretty. The Crimson Heart. May your allegiance to Gallia stand firm evermore. Uh, excuse me, I believe I deserve a lot more medals. Like when I made that submarine tank. That should be a medal in itself. Just the fact that I created a new type of weapon. No? Whatever. Alright, let's see what new weapons we have. So as you can see, it splits into three different things. We're gonna go ahead and... I just like to buy them all. Um, cause you know, I have so much money. So, accuracy boost. I probably will put some accuracy boost weapons on some characters. Um, I do actually like the defense down. It's actually not. It's actually pretty useful. Um, the guns, the, these. Oh, okay. They, they usually get like an attack down, which is actually pretty useful too. Um, okay. Nothing new. Sniper rifle. Nothing new. Nothing new. Ooh, grenade upgrade. I have so much money though. Seriously, look at all that. Suit upgrade? Yes! Nice. I don't think there's that many more. No, okay, there's quite a few. <laughs> Always upgrade your suits, though. Very helpful. Alright, and what... And let's see... Whoops, I forgot. I want to... Oh, no, no, oops. Let's go and see if the Edo... Edo Vice? Can get, why is it? It says Edo... It spells like Edo Weiss, but it's pronounced Edo Vice. Oh, whoops. So as you can see, my tank is also very, um, well-equipped with everything, pretty much. Oops, I keep clicking on that for some reason. Sorry. Reinforced barrels, range plus 200. Oh, nice. Um, and there's, like, nothing for the... Uh, and nothing here. Side upgrade. I'll buy that, but I won't put it on right now. I'll have to put it on later. As you can see, everything's kind of fold up. Alright. But we still have quite a nice sack of money. Let's go see if anything new is in the cemetery so that I can get any new orders. I like orders. They're good. They're great. Put the orders right on my plate. Hello again. I'll teach you more. Um, order support. You know what? I had that, and I didn't really find it that useful. So you know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste my experience on it. I, I used it once, and it didn't really do any damage. It really didn't. You think it would do a lot, but it. I didn't. My the mortar support really didn't seem that all that helpful to me. Same with the sniper support. I sh didn't hasn't really been that helpful. That oh, nice. Oh, squad seven R and R. Excellent. Uh, yeah, we can do that in this episode, I think. There's no, um, skirt, there's no fight in it, but I think it'll still be fun to do. And then the next part, we can do some fights. Um, alright, command room. 
I like the little table. Hello. Oh, and oh, good. There are some new recruits. All right, Ramona. I did not get her the first. I did not get her. Uh, desert fancy women. Anybody else? Let's see. Is there anyone I don't want on my? Uh, I don't really want him. So I'll get rid of Montley. Okay, great. Later. Call me. All right. Thank you, Montley. I will though get Ramona. She actually seems like she, she could be good. My name's Ramona Linton. Good to be on board, Welkin. Uh, yeah, that's what I wanted. And let's see, anybody on the old? Nope. I I like all these characters. They're all staying. My lancers. I also got a different lancer. No. Yeah, Jane. I'm gonna remember. He's actually pretty good. Uh, I think that's. And for now, I think that's pretty good. And here's um Homer. Kind of looks like a blonde to me. Except my hair's not that shaggy. It's curly, but it's not super shaggy. Um, and training field. And then we'll go ahead and do the R and R. There's no missions in it, but it should still be funny. Let's go ahead and upgrade the lancers. I probably should upgrade the engineers too, since I may have to use them. Even though I don't really. I don't want them to be too far behind if I ever do need one. Alright. I should be getting a new order once the Lancers get to level 10 or 11. I think. The Lancers, when they become upgrade... I don't think they get... They don't get any special item. They will, though, later on be able to use mortars. Like, um, portable mortars. But I never found them really that useful. Here it is. Report. Squad 7's R and R. Yeah, I mean after saving the princess, you know, let's go ahead. Let's go uh, take a break at the beach. The break at the beach. To the beach. Where all heroes get to relax. Figured this has got to be big if they put out an emergency call, right? Oh, back into the field again. Militia ever heard of time off? I'm sorry to have called you here so early. I had news for Squad 7 of a pressing nature. The higher-ups were watching, both during your recovery of the Princess and elsewhere. In recognition of those accomplishments, you and I are being granted special leave. Ooh! Sweet! That's great news. Are you serious? Music to my ears. How wonderful. There's more. <laughs> wonderful! We've been granted As Oak access would put to a stretch it. of shoreline owned by House Randgrease. House Randgrease owns a stretch of shoreline? In other words, our orders are to cut loose and relax on a posh private beach. Hell yeah! No way. That princess really knows how to up the morale, don't she? The whole place to ourselves. Talk about luxury. Hey, but what should I do? I don't own a swimsuit. Then come on, let's go shopping. I'll pick out something nice for you. Uh, okay. Wow, it's been years, huh? This should be fun, though, Ys. Yes. Very. We'll leave as soon as you're ready. You've earned this break. Enjoy it. Damn straight we earned it. Now, I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw this, I got a little worried because this is an anime looking kind of game. They're at the beach, there's gonna be some bikinis. So I did get a little worried. But from what I remember, it's nothing horrible. They don't, it's not like, there's no fan service, you know, it's just bikini. Wow. I, I do you like what Welkin wears. I want that suit. Beach. It is so old fashioned and cool. I want one. The water's so, blue. so much cool than shorts. Not many places this well preserved around anymore. God, it's beautiful. <gasps> I want that suit. It's so cool. Wings. Hi, Welkin. <sighs> this, uh, swim. Suit was Rosie's idea. Really, I tried to tell her no. I just 
I wasn't sure I could pull it off. How do you not have um, any bullets in you from all the gunfire put you through? Do I You're absolutely okay. amazing. Uh, hmm. It's great, actually. Great? You mean it? Huh? Uh, yeah. That is... You're... You're as pretty as a white-winged gull. I look like a seagull? Yeah. Those wings are just gorgeous. Okay, so... That was a compliment? You bet it was. The white-winged gull is just about my favorite bird. Okay. Then thanks, Welkin. I love how the tank's under a um, Someone's umbrella. Someone's this private beach thing a little too literally. It's already hot enough as it is. Rosie! Don't try to pretend. You picked the raciest suit just for the lieutenant. The nervous some girls. Rosie, you're the one who told me to get it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> someone's going in the water. <laughs> okay, okay. Don't lose your top. Hey. Hey, Elks. Oh, Hayes. You having fun? I am. You look like a farmer. In a bikini. Do Been farmers usually wear bikinis beach, when they it? do their yeah. crops? Oh, no. <laughs> that reminds me. Weren't you afraid of the wateries? I remember you clinging to that floaty porcabian. We tried to drag you out and you started bawling. Well, Ken, I was barely a toddler then. <laughs> right, sorry. You must be a great swimmer by now. That's... None of your business. Ooh, the cold shoulder. Now, I'm not really good at picking up signs from girls. Big surprise. Um, but does Isara have a crush on, um, uh, Welkin? Like, <clears throat> I know they're not related by blood, but... Because, you know, Welkin's father just pretty much adopted her and took her in. But does Isara have, like, a little crush on Welkin? I, I, could, I don't really know. I couldn't really tell because I'm kind of dumb with these kind of relationships so I'm not really sure but I was just curious because she's always blushing when she's around them and here goes Welkin Bully oh. Box stream where's uh, Captain Varat and Largo I want to see Largo in his bikini oh yeah oh yeah Hans Oh, and no, he's in a suit. The boss. Man, what a buzzkill. <laughs> You're sounding like an old man, Largo. What? I ain't that old. Oh, no. Then why did you just sound like my grandfather, hmm? Yeah, yeah. You sure you don't want to go for a swim? I thought you liked that. Nobody wants to see me running around in a skimpy suit like those kids. Not at my age. Whatever you say, Granny. You know better than I am, are you? You haven't changed a bit since the day you enlisted. You still can't recognize a joke. And you still got a mouth on you. Think I'd kill over if that changed. <laughs> Thank you for the lovely compliment. Come to think of it, didn't we all go to the beach just after we enlisted? Yes, we had a big seashell hunt competition. I don't think you found a single one. <laughs> I remember. Yeah, that was a wild time. <laughs> then Frederick winds up soaked to the bone. Largo. No Frederick stories. Oh. Hey. I'm sorry. No. I should apologize. I'm going for a little walk. Well? Mm -hmm, some backstory in Largo, Miss Verrat, and some dude. An awkward pair. Oh, jeez, I hope this isn't awkward. Oh, gosh, what's gonna happen in this anime Beach party! Oh, please let it not be something creepy. Please don't let it be Bizarre Jelly 5, okay? We don't need Travis Touchdown coming in saying, Moy! East, over here. Actually, I would Pass love to see Travis here. Touchdown come in and finish this war. Just totally kill the commander. He would totally Isara, do it, too. Nail I mean, 
Go! I mean, not, not, not Woken. I mean, like, the commander of the Imperials. Okay. I want a fan fiction of it. Guess right. I better get started. Hans, did I hit you with that? I'm so sorry. <laughs> she nailed the pig. All by yourself, huh? Why don't you go join them? Nah, that's not my thing. Mm-hmm. Always have to play it cool, huh? Hmm. <laughs> so what, did your journalist duties call you to the beach, or are you just bored? <laughs> Got me there. If I'm spending a day at the beach, I'd rather be with my boyfriend. Oh ho ho! You got yourself a boy, do ya? Color me jealous. Right? But there's times when I feel envious of you all, too. I interviewed a good chunk of Galia's army, but I didn't see any other units like yours. True comrades. The bond you guys have is really a cut above the rest. Hmm. <laughs> now get over there already. They're all waiting for you. Well, I could take pity on them. And it's not like chatting with an old married lady is any fun. <laughs> You're a piece of work. All right, guys, make room for me. Oh, a promising contender joins the fray. Rosie, think you could pair up with Isara? What? Sure, fine. Isara, pull your weight or you're swimming. Okay, I'll do my best, Rosie. All right, throw the ball, Isara. Okay. God, don't hit me with it! You're supposed to throw it that way! Rosie, did I hit you with that? I'm so sorry. <laughs> the real funny thing is Hans is gonna slit all their throats for laughing at him when he got hit in the head with the ball. Anyways, I'm gonna end the video here. So this is video him gamble. It did, oh. uh, thanks for watching. See you next time as we go ahead and start Chapter 10 Liberation of Furzern in the next part. Okay, bye then.